my throat. <clears> throat> Excuse me. Once Yuri packs up, I walk her out from the door. Thank you very much for having me today. No problem. I'm glad I was able to help. Just leave. Uh, just let me know if there's anything else you need uh, me to bring for tomorrow, all right? I will. Well then, Yuri fidgets. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait! I kind of say that without thinking. About today, um, it's fine that we didn't have as much time as we wanted. Uh, because we we can do this again uh, whenever you want. You can come over or we can go out somewhere. Uh, I forgot you don't like to go out much. As I stumble over my words, Yuri simply smiles bashfully. Uh, anyways, uh, you know what I'm trying to say, so... Yuri, you're very thoughtful, you. Yuri takes a step closer to me, and then briefly squeezes my hand. Ooh. She... So with Natsuki, she grabs my shirt, but with Yuri, she grabs my hand. Yeah. Yeah. I've kind of liked that about you. What? How am I supposed to respond to that? But I don't even get a chance to, as Yuri suddenly pulls back. Ah, Sayori! Uh... Uh... Hi, you! Sayori! Uh, look, look, just now we weren't, uh... <laughs> it's okay. Um, I understand. I just stopped by to say hi. Um, well, it's nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way to leave. Aw, oh, really? That's too bad. Wow, I sound like a jerk saying like that. I'm sorry, uh, but we'll all be together at the festival tomorrow, so... So that's fine, right? Of course. Siori beams. Yeah, so... I'll see you tomorrow. Clearly embarrassed, Yuri ha hurries off. Siori waves goodbye after her. <sighs> okay. And we know this part here, so I should probably do the reading as well for this one. Siori, I thought you didn't want to come over today. Uh, well, I tried to stay in my room, but my imagination was being really mean to me, so I had to come over and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Yuri, and how close you got to her. It makes me really happy. They've made such good friends. Oh, that matters to me. Tears start to fall down Siori's face. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way? You. I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? There's so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Sorry, don't do that. Don't say that. It's true, you. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica is right. I should've just... Monica? Monica was right about what? Siori, what I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you is like, uh, it's in a burden your mind is making out to be. It's something that makes you, me happy. Something that I wouldn't trade for anything. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you're, you don't feel any more pain. But... Siori looks away. I put her hand over her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, you. So I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'm hearing something. What are you scared of? I'm scared that I might like you more than you like me. Siori. It's true, isn't it? I was weak and sorry to like you too much. I did to myself. You. I like you so much that I might want to die. That's how I feel. And then, then. That's enough. I don't want you hurt anymore. I saw my hand down Yuri's arm and squeezed her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said I was always know the what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, sorry not. Even if you don't understand all of your feelings, I know what you need the most right now. And that's what I'm going to give you. I did save the right, so okay. You'll always be my dearest friend. What you mean the most is the... Uh, we've been Monica told me the truth. She told me that she'd be, uh, be much happier after I joined the club. I know you're struggling with some really difficult feelings right now, but please trust me that I know what's best and what will make you happy in the end. I promise I'll help you get things back to where they were. I... I see. 
Siri forced a smile through an incredibly pained expression. Ah, is this what I feel like to get stabbed in the chest? I should write a poem about this. Siori, it's okay. This is just my punishment, remember? For being so selfish. So please, please don't worry about the stupid feelings. I know you're right. I knew this all the time there's no happiness down the path. That's why I came here. Just so I could get the answer I needed to hear. And the other thing, you're also right that I just wanted to go back to the way it was. I realize that now. You really do know me better than anyone, do you? I'll trust you with anything. Anything at all. So, Siri smiles finally with breaks. All of a sudden, she turns around and drops to her, to her knees. Ah! Clutching her head with both hands, she screams as loudly as she can. I'm so shocked that I don't know how to react. Siri looks over her shoulder and then flashes, and then flashes me one more weak smile before turning around and running off. Siri! I'm left helplessly standing in front of my house. Why am I feeling so horrible about this? There's nothing more than I could have done. The most I can do is support Siori through her feelings and help her on a path that's right. But I'm having so much trouble understanding Siori's feeling as, as she is. Even though I can't comfort her, I keep wondering if, if I should be doing something more or something different. I know this, these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. I'm going to give everything I've got. Siori will always be my dearest friend. And I'll do whatever it takes to put a smile on her face every day.